Hello, Green Lawn family and friends. We are definitely in the season of weddings right now. Our refrigerator has been covered with multiple invitations for the past few months, and now is the time for many of those weddings to take place. Even within our current situation, couples are finding creative ways to start their lives together. It's a time of celebration and excitement. In Revelation chapter 21, verses 2 through 4, the Apostle John uses the image of a wedding to encourage us. I saw the holy city, the new Jerusalem, coming down out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride, beautifully dressed for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Look, God's dwelling place is now among the people, and he will dwell with them. They will be his people, and God himself will be with them and be their God. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. There will be no more death or mourning or crying or pain, for the old order of things has passed away. Using the image of a wedding ceremony helps us to understand what we have to look forward to as Christians. On earth, a wedding signifies the beginning of an intimate relationship between husband and wife. In eternity, we will enjoy an intimate relationship with God. In fact, according to 1 Corinthians chapter 2, verse 9, we can't even imagine how wonderful it will be for us to be made complete in the presence of God. Knowing that this is my future helps me deal with the light and momentary troubles that we read about in 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Be encouraged, child of God. The best is yet to come. Knowing what is to come also encourages me to live for the Lord each day on this side of eternity. Like we read about in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 9, we make it our goal to please Him. Whether we're at home in the body or away from it, let's continually encourage one another to be that living sacrifice as we all wait for that heavenly wedding day. Let's pray together. Father, first, this, uh, this day I want to lift up to you uh, new married couples. Father, bless them as they begin their lives together, as they begin their marriages. So please be with them. Father, I pray that we all uh, live with eternity in mind, that, that we understand that, that someday that we will be with you in a way that we can't even begin to imagine today. And so, Father, we thank you for the hope and, and the encouragement that that brings. And Father, we also pray for the strength to live each day for you as we wait for that day to go home to be with you in that relationship. Father, we thank you for weddings and the celebrations that they are. And so, Father, help us to ex uh, be excited as we eagerly await our wedding day with you. To the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you. Have a great day.